The Olympic Games are meant to be a time for honest competition, but if the history of the Games has taught us anything, it's that honesty is not always a guarantee, as the 10 Olympic cheaters of this video will show. Some people will do anything to try and nab that gold medal with the Rio Games upon us. We can only hope the athletes remain scrupulous. Number 10. Boris Onyshenko When Soviet Boris Onyshenko picked up his fencing sword for the second event of the pentathlon at the 1976 Montreal Olympics, the Soviets were uncomfortably in fourth place and were adamant about beating their rivals, the British. During the FA fencing event, the British team took notice when Boris's sword registered hit. When it didn't seem to strike his opponent, an inspection of the sword revealed it was triggered to allow Boris, the cheat, to manually register a hit, causing the fencer to be disqualified, forcing the Soviets to withdraw and giving the British the gold. Number 9. Kim Jong-su There are many instances of doping in the Olympics, but this one deserves mentioning as it may not be quite what you're thinking. Expert sports shooter Jong earned himself a silver and bronze medal in the 50-meter pistol and 10-meter air pistol events, respectively at the 2008 Summer Olympics. Medals he was only able to enjoy for a short time. Before that was stripped from him, Jiang Su had tested positive for propranolol, a drug known to slow heart rates and lower blood pressure. Number 8. The Spanish Paralympic Basketball Team There are few things more despicable and disgusting than someone pretending to be handicapped to gain an advantage. So here's the story of the Sydney 2000 Paralympics and Fernando Martin Vicent, former head of the Spanish Federation for Mentally Handicapped Sports. Vison gathered 12 individuals, 10 of which were shown to have no signs of any mental handicap, and as one would expect, the team walked away with the gold in the November following the Paralympics Spanish basketball team member. Carlos Rivera Guerra broke open the scandal, and in 2013, Vicent was forced to pay over $6,000 in fines and returned the $157,000 in government subsidies. Number 7. Dora Ratchin While riding a train towards Cologne, Germany, athlete Dora Ratchin's greatest secret was revealed. She was really a man dressed as a woman. The controversy of a man dressed as a woman was bad enough, but then Dora was remembered as the same Olympic athlete that set a high jump record at the 1938 European Athletics Championship a few days prior and finished fourth in the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin with Dora revealed as Heinrich. Her record was expunged, the gold medal returned, and her career as an Olympic athlete athlete ended. Number 6. Tyson Gay Tying Usain Bolt is no easy feat, but Tyson Gay, an American track and field sprinter, was able to do so with a 100 meters personal best of 9.69 seconds. Gay's reputation was put on the line though, when in 2013, he tested positive for anabolic steroids. Even though he was quick to admit to doping, Gay also blamed a third party, claiming he puts his trust in someone who let him down. In response to the positive test, Gay was suspended for a year, and his 2012 results, such as the silver medal he earned at the Summer Olympics, would be annulled. Number 5. Cyan O'Connor's Horse Irish equestrian O'Connor may not have benefited from performance enhancers during the 2004 Summer Olympics, but his horse definitely could have. In fact, after the pair won the gold medal in individual jumping, it was determined that O'Connor's horse Waterford Crystal was pumped with a prohibited substance. The governing body stripped O'Connor of his medal and banned him for three months. It was later determined that O'Connor had no part in deliberately doping his horse, though the medal was never returned. Number 4. Dong Feng Xiao This gymnast had earned the Chinese team, one of its many bronze medals during the 2000 Summer Olympics, but there was something peculiar about the young Feng Xiao. No, she wasn't caught doping. She was only two years too young to actually compete in the Olympic Games. The deception had worked perfectly for eight years until Feng Xiao registered to work as a technical official at the 2008 Summer Olympics, using her real date of birth, which was three years and three days later than what she had previously competed under. When investigations revealed that she was underage in 2000, her bronze medal was awarded to the American team. Number 3. Madeline de Jesus. If you have a twin, what trickery would you pull off with them? Puerto Rican track and field athlete. Madeline the Jesus found the perfect opportunity when she injured herself in the long jump and was unable to compete in the four times 400 meter relay at the 1985 Olympic Games in Los Angeles. To not give up the chance at the medal, Madeline employed her twin sister Margaret to run the relay for her. Madeline's sister was able to run the second leg of the qualifying heat before the team's coach found out and pulled the team from the finals. Number 2. Fred Lors. If you think you've heard everything, just wait until you hear how Fred Lors turned heads at the very first Olympic Games in 1904. The long-distance runner was partaking in a marathon that proved to be too much exhaustion, overtaking him by the night mile. Not to lose pace, his manager picked him up in a vehicle and drove him for 11 miles. 
until it broke down. With opportunity at his feet, Lors recovered and continued the remainder of the marathon on foot, inevitably crossing the finishing line in the winning position. Problems arose when spectators called out Lors on his four-wheeled advantage, forcing him to claim it was all a joke. Number 1. Lance Armstrong One of the worst cases of doping during the Olympics belongs to American legendary cyclist Lance Armstrong. He famously cheated his way to Tour de France victory, a record seven times in a row and bagged to Summer Olympics, medal subsequently being met with a long investigation into possible performance enhancement use while he was able to pass preliminary tests. Many still believe the expert cyclist was hiding the truth, and in 2013, during an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Armstrong finally admitted two years of doping, as far back as 1995. Among the possible millions of dollars of prize money he may need to return, Armstrong was asked to return his Olympics medals. Think these athletes deserve more severe punishments for their deception? And do you feel like the 2016 Rio Olympics was also to be rife with cheaters discuss and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Braincraft.